Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has released the latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 23H2, KB5060826. And the update is optional, but if you do decide to install it, the build will be bumped up to 22631.5549 and the update rolled out late yesterday in my region. Now, when the update was in preview, it had two new features and has rolled out with four new features. And the first is new app defaults for the European Economic Area, EEA, for default browsers. So if you are in the EEA, if you head to apps, default apps, Microsoft says that additional file and link types will be set for the new default browser if it registers them. And the new default browser will be pinned to the taskbar and start menu, unless you choose not to pin it by clearing the checkboxes. And there's also now a separate one-click button for browsers to change your .pdf default if the browser registers for the .pdf file types. So those are three improvements rolling out as one new feature for new app defaults in the EEA. And then there's a new feature for PC migration with new PC to PC migration, which is starting to roll out. So this is on a gradual rollout. So if you head into your all apps and you head to your Windows backup app, you should start seeing the landing and pairing page in the Windows Backup app, giving you a first look at what's coming with this new PC migration, which is going to be bundled with the Windows Backup. And I have posted on this just to a search on the channel. So you'll be able to transfer files and settings from an old PC to a new one during setup. So that's basically what Microsoft is introducing with this feature. And the rollout has been introduced in phases. And then just to mention for Windows Share, when you share links or web content using the Windows Share window, you'll see a visual preview for that content. And those three new features are all rolling out gradually. And then for a normal rollout, admins can configure whether a new device gets critical updates during the out-of-box experience, OOBE. So that's a new feature for Windows setups for system administrators. And then over and above that, we get a couple of fixes, mostly taking place under the hood, but I'm just going to go through four for the purpose of this video. Microsoft fixed an issue with auditing privilege creating too many security event logs. These logs filled up the system drive and prevented users from signing in. So that's quite an important fix. And there's a display kernel fix. They fixed an issue that prevented remote desktop protocol connections until you started your device. And there's a performance fix where the update addresses an issue that prevented the complete removal of unused language packs and feature on demand packages, which previously led to unnecessary storage use and longer Windows update installation times. So that's also an important fix. And then the last one, there's a fix for Windows search where it was responding very slowly and the search box could take over 10 seconds to load before you could use it. So that's also quite an important fix. So that's more or less what's new, guys, with this latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 23H2 KB5060826. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.